How do you get to Islam from theism? Let's say like you become a theist, from an atheist to a theist, like they want you to. How do you get to there how do you get to Islam from there? Mm, I've heard question. I mean like mm. Matt, James, you know, down in the audience, myself, we've interviewed Khalilullah in the whole process. And he had not even read the Quran at that point, but he was a Muslim. And we're like, how does that even happen? And the way he was describing it, process of elimination, this and that, it just, none of that made sense whatsoever. It just, you know, no experience, no nothing. Wait a minute. Uh, wait, let me ask a question real quick. Did you just say that the guy was claiming to be a Muslim, but he never read the, the Quran? Yeah, Justin Khalilullah, you know him, right? Oh, wow. So he's never read the Quran? No, he has by now, but at the time when he was a Muslim. Oh. We were oh. John is right. He had only read like um, a surah or two, and then he had had deism explained to him for like six months, seven months, and then the last couple of months were kind of talking about Islam, and then he accepted Islam. Now, he says that he arrived at Islam through rational means, but the thing is, not all Muslims believe in a rational process to get to Islam. And actually, several believe that once you are in is Islam, like A down in the audience has been quoted as saying this, that you just submit, no reason, no logic. Mm -hmm. And you can ask him, he said this thing too. Yeah, that's a lot of Muslims, I mean, I hate to say it, but are illiterate and... So it's not like it's. I don't want to call them illiterate, though. That's not. That's not necessarily fair. There, you we would have. You'd be saying that like billions of people are illiterate. I just, I wouldn't say that. That's not. That's not a good assertion. Well, they haven't. They might not speak yeah. Arabic. They might, they're not going to be like deeply delving into it. Well, right? if you mean by not, yeah, that's what, that's yeah. what I mean. I don't oh, mean like. Oh, I got you. You mean not like can't Arabic. can't read. Period. Yeah. Illiterate in the in the Arabic or what the text says, not illiterate. Um, yeah, sorry, it's towards the Quran. And, oh, gotcha. Well, that's true. They a lot of Muslims don't know Arabic. You're absolutely right. My apologies. I misunderstood what you're saying. It was my my fault. I, I apologize. That I, I shouldn't have said just. Illiterate. Yeah, because I'm definitely illiterate in in Arabic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm there. As a matter of fact, interesting <laughs> facts like the teachers who learn and people learn how to read the full Quran, they, they don't know what they're reading necessarily, or they don't, they can't interpret it. The people who have like deep knowledge of the Quran don't necessarily memorize the reading of it. So it's like you have different paths you go down. So just because somebody can recite the Quran doesn't mean they know what it means. It's like that Nirvana song. He knows all the pretty words, likes to sing along, but don't know what it means. Right. I like that analogy. Yeah, I mean, so, some kids even memorize so much of it. It's it's incredible how much you, a, a human mind can memorize. And and I do think it, it sound, I made this statement not too long ago that it sounds good when you hear someone reading it in rhythm and and actually whether they know what they're saying or not it's it is almost like they're singing a song and it's it's got a nice rhythm to it and it sounds really nice and it, it makes you want to look into it deeper the interesting thing too is that, well it does have a rhyme scheme you can actually see where the rhyme scheme is broken but the, the average Muslim doesn't know that. And so they'll tell you things like there is only one Quran, but there's several different ways to recite the Quran. And several of these have different words that mean completely different things. So uh, you can't say with any degree of honesty that there's only one Quran. Also, one other fact about the Quran, the Hafs is the Quran that majority of Islam uses today, that recitation. But that recitation is um, given to them by somebody who they won't even trust for Hadith. They believe that the guy was dishonest and a liar. So they don't take Hadith from him, but 
they take the greatest to do is recitation of the Quran. I don't know that much about it, or so I don't get now, into anus arguments is with them. Putting laughy faces in the chat, but anus, I, I, there's an atheist mod up here, and she'll mute me if I over talk you. I'm not mod. You can come up and maybe answer some of the atheist questions about Islam, and I'll even mute. Yeah, she she's a hardcore atheist. I just like he's just putting laughy emojis in there because when you bring real facts like this that he knows is true he can't really have any argument but I, I i do know for a fact that my friend's got a video coming out either today or tomorrow which has anus saying that as a muslim you just submit no reason no logic and i've heard that before from from muslims it sounds it's really weird. It's, it's probably a common thread. Like, they believe that, well, not all Muslims believe that they should be using reason and logic when talking to people outside of Islam. But, but, and this is the, one of the people who are like a Muslim metaphysician who believe that you should be using reason and logic to non believers. But once you show them Islam, they're just to submit. You're not to question anything, you just have to do. Anus, the mod is on in a call, I think. Give her a minute. Her, her hand is up. Yeah, well, on mine it shows Hades in a call. Yeah, once she gets off the call, I'm sure she'll bring him up. Um, maybe at that point, uh, Chris Claus would want to come up as well. He knows Islam way better than me, but has been great in, in pointing out resources and teaching me different things about Islam and pointing out authentic things to go look at. Hey, 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 uh, Anus, uh, she's uh, not afraid she's up. on the phone. That's what, that's what that little, now John's mod. Uh, John, can you bring uh, Anus up now? And I will, I will mute and kind of let him interact with the atheist for a few minutes. I may jump in, but. I'll mute for the shirt arm. I'm talking about you, James. Hello, everyone. I'm talking about you. Why you need Chris aid? You, the one who made the claims about the Quran. You're the one who is explaining the Islam for the people here on the stage. So why don't you stand up for yourself? So are you saying that there's not several different ways to recite the Quran? There is different way to recite the Quran. Just like you, have, you just like you have different you accents in English. Will you admit that several different recitations have completely different words? Yes, they do. And that they mean different things? No, they, they don't. They do mean different things? No, they don't. Like one translation says to feed a poor person. The other one says to feed poor persons. That is a completely what? different Sorry, meaning. Can you repeat? Sorry, one translation says to feed a poor person. The other one says to feed poor persons. So that can change your theology. And that has a different way. Wait, meaning. wait, what, how? What is the meaning? The first one, one person, the, the other one yeah, is ruler? I, I, I have to, uh, if, you know, I, I'm a Christian and uh, I, I believe that Islam is wrong. But uh, I, I, would, I would have to say that an atheist could utilize the same line of reasoning with the different manuscripts uh, that we hold to. Uh, for the Bible, I mean, that doesn't sound like anything that would really cause a major jeopardization of. Uh, so there's a difference, though, my but friend. But still, I don't, I don't see the difference. So in, the first one time, talks about individual, and the second one talks about ruler. Is that your argument? Well, there's several, but so just let me address the Christian brother, quick, and then um, yeah. Chris pauses on stage too. So part of the issue is they claim that all these recitations. Uh -huh. are perfectly preserved from Muhammad, and they claim that each one of the recitations doesn't have a different meaning. But when you read some uh -huh. of them, it has things like I will or they will. Well, 
Who is it? Is it I will or is it they? Where, where, where? You cannot just make words, man. You cannot just make words. There is no such a thing I will and they will. Now, if you go There's into present, no, no, no. You have to quote. You have to quote the verses and point out the differences and let the people decide if this make a difference in the meaning or not. I will. I'll pull up the article and I'll send article? it to one of the mods. Yes, just, an article that shows the Arabic side by side in different meanings. Yeah, probably Islamophobe you website. You wanted to source. So, so the argument again. I, I can't believe I'm actually uh, <laughs> arguing like this, but uh, but I'm just trying to be fair uh, because an atheist could say the same thing. Like Bart Ehrman would say, utilize the same line of argumentation against the Christian, uh, the yeah. Bible, scripture, so, Bible. So you know, here's textual variances. You know, and they'll try to say, see, this says something different here. So there's a contradiction. So here's what you're missing. But Vickel, one we, second, uh, one second, oh, let, please, let me one second. No, no, no. I have to address and I have to clarify made a, that. He one made second, a, please. No, yeah, you can respond to him. No, he has said something yeah. to me. I'm just going to respond back, then I'll mute up, Anus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, so James, the issue is James, that... James, please, James, please pronounce my name correctly. It's Anas. Anas. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I, I did not mean to mispronounce no, your name. No, you're honest. doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it on purpose, and this is your no, this is no, your I'm manners. Honest. This is um, your manners. So any heart. Honest, will, I apologize, but I'm going to answer him real that's quick. That's your manners. I just want to. Uh, point honest, this. I said I'm sorry. I'm going to address. I don't think he's doing it on purpose. Come on. So the not the my issue first is, time encountering him, uh, and honest, he before honest, he pronounced my name correctly, but honest, now he's doing on, it on purpose. I know this now person. You're nervous because I'm bringing the source, and I'm just trying to. No, you're not bringing anything. You're going to bring I've an got, Islamophobe got, article, and let me clarify this before the, you hey, bring in your article. Can I ask you a simple oh. question? Let can me you clarify us, what Vicar said? Give us one person. Can you give us one person that talks against Islam or has wrote an article against Islam that is not an Islamophobe in your eyes? Okay, well, of course, no problem. There is a lot of people who wrote about Islam and they are not Islamophobe. There is a lot, not one, and I can give you many of them. One second. Now, if I'm going to talk about Christianity, I'm not going to quote Islam Muslim scholars to you to co to to argue Islam, uh, Christianity. So but rather, what I do, what I do, I quote Christian scholars for you to argue your point of view. That's what I do. Christian and therefore, scholar. therefore, if you're going to criticize Islam, just go to Islamic literature. And code the okay. Islamic literature itself. Okay, That's so what I'm you're gonna, supposed to do. Okay. Not someone who is. And wait, I would clarify something here about the the variance. And now well, in Islam, on, on, we I'm have gonna, we have different wait, recitation. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. I'm gonna let you go. I just wanna let me address the Christian brother, and then you can address why the Arabic in this article up top is wrong, and you can get all the time you want. But the is, issue is, as I'm talking to the Christian brother now. Is we'll admit, hey, there are these variants. Um, we'll tell you that they are there, that in some cases they do mean different things, and that we'll actually make an argument for why we believe the other one is the Word of God. In this case, they want to have all these variants and say that they don't mean different things and that they all came from God, and so they're all considered one Quran. So there's a big fundamental difference between the two faiths. No problem. I appreciate yeah, the this. The biggest fundamental difference between uh, the two faiths in textual criticism and in textual variance is that Christians acknowledge that there is textual variance within the New Testament. There's actually 400,000 textual variants within the New Testament. And there's been textual criticism studies within this, so we can identify uh -huh. what they are and where they come from. Let's thanks not to the address, major. let's not and address take Christianity. The, let's and not when address we take a look into the textual please. criticism, Anas, just let me finish. When we take a look into the textual criticism, we can point out with scholarly work that 99% of those textual variants within the New Testament do not affect the text of the New Testament at all. Right, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. No, I, I totally agree with that. I'm just trying to make a distinction with the way the the gentleman was arguing with uh, the differences, like uh, poor person versus poor persons. Uh, to me, that sounds like a very uh, trivial uh, thing to look at. I think I'm, I would be looking for something a little extreme, something like. I agree. The, I, I would have pointed out the one where it said Muhammad's followers fought with him 
And then the other translations, it says Muhammad's followers died with him right. in battle. See, they so right. they either fought see, or they died. died. That is a right. contradiction, right? Well, no, 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 it's no. not. See, it's see. not. May I? May I, please? No. Okay. I would like I would like to take a real example here and let's not talk about Christianity because I'm not here to talk about Christianity. If I want to talk about Christianity, I would open room. Now let's talk about Islam. And I would like you to point a verse, Chris or Mr. James or whoever want to do so and point out to us where is the contradiction and how the different recitation is changing the meaning. So Chris, you brought up this verse, please read it out for the people and then use the other recitation and read it out to the people, please. And let's keep this between Chris and A so that there's not any ganging up. So everyone- well, else You're gonna have to give me about five minutes. I gotta get my notes and no, all no, my no, references I, ready. I, I, I'm I can, speaking uh, without my references ready. One second, I can get you the verse number right now. I will say so for people just to give them some background while Chris is getting his notes, the Shia Muslims would say that there's only one version of the Quran that came from God and all the other recitations are from the Prophet. Can you please do not represent Islam? I, I am I'm here to represent them. Islam. Don't talk for Islam, please, with do all my respect. Don't talk not, for Islam. But there's not one Don't version talk for of Islam. Islam, please. Do not talk for there's Islam. There's not one version of Islam, so I just need to let people know that what you At, least, at least we all believe in one God and one prophet and all the prophets. The other at hand, least, see, that's what I want. That's what I don't want to do. When we go to Christianity, there are who believe in one God, two gods, three gods, all in ones. So please, please, James, do not speak for Islam. I'm asking you respectfully, do not speak for Islam, please. Hang on, pause. I, I'm mentioning what Shia Muslims believe. Do even not believe their Muslims. speak for Islam, period. Let's keep it to the I'm, argument, I, look, to the point of you, argument. You don't Anus, know anything Anus, about Islam. Anus, I don't want to mute you, but if you're going to keep talking over if me... If you mute me once, I'm out of here. So please do not talk about Islam, no, please. I, look, I don't want to mute you, but here's the thing. You don't believe that Shia Muslims are actually Muslims. You so don't I'm know not what I know. You can ask me. I tell you what I know. Right. Okay. Okay. So let's let me ask you this question: Are Shia Muslims just as much Muslim as you are? Well, that's a good question. See, most Shia, normal Shia, layman Shia, who doesn't have the knowledge, who didn't study, we consider them to be Muslim, deviant Muslims, right? And we should clarify to them. But when it comes to their scholars, to the belief system as it is, to the belief system as it is, and to their scholar, yes, is a disbelief. But when it comes to the layman, we do not disbe do disbelieving or takfir, we call it. Anas. One second, Chris. One Let me finish. Let the me fi of your Let prophet. Me finish, please. Let me finish, please. Did he follow the sunnah of your prophet? Okay, if I do not allow me to finish, I'm not gonna stay. So please allow me to finish. Well, you need to give please. some give and take. Like I look, I will, I will. Give, but let me finish thing. my you, sentence. You preach in the Muslim rooms. I just want to say that let's just have this back and forth. But please don't threaten to leave just because someone wants to engage you in conversation. No, you ask me a question, right, James? Yeah, and Chris challenged your assertion. No problem, because you ask me a question, I should clarify your question and answer your question, and then I go back to Chris. Now, did you get my answer, please? You answered it completely, and Chris made a challenge to your... Can you tell me the answer, so I can see you heard my answer? Because yes. I don't believe you heard it. Yes, you said that the lay Muslim who identify as Shia, who have not studied the deen enough to know better that uh, they're wrong, would be considered Muslim, but the Shia who accept different hadith than the Sunnis. No, I did not say who that. Who have studied enough. See, that's who have. Hold on, hang on, I'm just giving you the information. Who have studied enough, who know better, you would consider outside of the fold of Islam. Now, Chris was but asking. But that's not you because, my answer. No, this is not my answer. That's why I said, let me finish. Allow me to finish, so you get all my answer. And after that, I go back to Chris. No problem with that. that Again, that Shia laymen, Shia laymen are not kuffar. We have to clarify to them. Their scholars, the Shia scholars, are kuffar. The Shia belief by itself is 
this belief it takes like the Shia is out the fold of Islam the system the belief system the scholars out the fold of Islam because they know but regarding the layman they are not kuffar that, that's just what I said I just repeated that back to you I just gave a little bit more information to the panel but I repeated that almost word for word back to you now here's the thing Chris made a challenge which is a good point that says if you are practicing a sunnah that's not of the prophet you are outside of the fold of Islam. The Shia laymen do not recognize your hadith or use your hadith. They have their own, which puts them outside of the fold of Islam. I clarified this answer. I'm not going to repeat it again. We have to clarify to them, show them the evidences why they should follow the Sunnah of Muhammad We do not immediately say they are kuffar. So we have to sit with them clarify to them show them the evidences as much as possible and if he gonna keep reject we cannot do not me not not anyone you need a judge to do this to tell him you're a kafir right and after that if he dies then he will go to his lord to his creator and his creator will judge him not me but if that person is a is is a knowledgeable person and he is a scholar and a leader in that belief then I don't need to clarify anything for that person. You understand the difference here? And Chris, are you ready to interact with Anas? No, not yet with my references. Uh, my wife is just in school because she's in college right now. She's got roughly about 10 minutes left on her class and then she's got about an hour and a half break. And at that point I can jump on the computer and I can pull up my resources. I just went out and talked to my wife. Uh, you, you're just like me. You got to share a computer with your wife. Oh, it's yeah, I know, annoying man. sometimes. It's annoying. <laughs> so if anybody wants to click on the link up top, uh, this has a uh, Talks about bring your argument forth, man. Just bring it forth. Of the Let Arabic me address Quran. it. And so. when you go through this, you'll see several uh, different sections that show different words that mean different things. It even gives you a breakdown of all the different recitations of the Quran that are used today. Um, and you can see that. Then you can go down and it'll be like, let me find a good example. And actually, there's there's tons here. The the top one that we normally talk about is owner of the day or king of the day. Those are two different words that mean two different things. But technically, you could say that owner is similar to king. But then there's one like that says uh, they deceive or they seek to deceive. That's not a big deal, but that is a completely different word. And that is a different meaning. Although you could say overall, maybe they could flush out together. Um, the one is there's another one that says uh, they lied or they were lied to. So it, where, it's either, where 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 you cannot to. just repeat words like this. They said that, that. Give me references. Give me verse number chapter yeah, number. I will. Uh, this is sir. I will. Two, 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 no sir, problem. Sir, three verse one forty six. Can you go ahead and read that in us in the Hoff's version? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Surah three. Verse 146. Read it in the Hoff's version first, and then I would like you to read it in the Warsh version afterwards. No problem. 46. This is Qatala wa Qutilu, right? There you go. You already know what uh, we're going to talk said, about. You shouldn't have made me uh, the uh, reference. No problem. But uh, hey, uh, uh, are you talking chapter 3, verse 46? Chapter 3, verse 146. 146. Okay. No problem. 146. And I also have uh, the reference from Al Tabari on this as well. If you. No problem. Depending I on, know, how, on how you argue this, I guess. And no, I see there's. Obvious. Wakaina, wakaina min nabiyan qatala ma'ahu rubbiyuna kathiron, fama wahinu lima asaba hum fi sabili lahi wa ma da'afu wa mastakanu. Wallahu yuhibbu sabirin. So, and how many a prophet fought and with him fought many religious scholars? Excellent. Everybody heard him say. Wait, no, no. I'm, the verse is not done. I'm sorry, Chris. But no, no. I want everybody no, to I, realize that he said who fought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I will address it. I will address it. No worries. I will address now it. Now read the other verse. But let me read the, 
no, I have to finish the verse completely, please. And how many prophets fought and with him fought, right? This word. I want everybody to pay attention to this word. And how many a prophet fought and with him fought many religious scholars. So the many religious scholars fought with the prophet. But the verse is not done yet. And it says, continue reading, but they never lost assurance. They never lost assurance to do to what afflicted them in the cause of Allah, nor did they weaken or submit. And Allah loves loves the steadfast. Awesome. Now we go to the uh, we go to the other recitation. Yes, where it says, and how many? And please allow me to finish the whole verse. And after that, you can uh, come in, Chris. And how many a prophet fought and with him killed, right? Killed many religious scholars, but they never lost assurance due to what afflicted them in the cause of Allah, nor did they weaken or submit. And Allah loves the steadfast. Excellent. Now, what is your read the verse. Please? Does fought and killed yes. carry the same definition? Yes, in this in this context, yes. And if you would you like me to explain, what? or if you want to present your argument, present it, and then after no, no, that, I, I, I like, explain. I would like for you to present your argument on how fought and kill are exactly the same definition. Great. So we know in any battlefield, when you fight, there are people gonna die, right? Not and everyone. the idea here, not everyone, of course, not so everyone. It's, it's a battlefield. Can I finish my somebody argument, somebody or you, do you want? Um, can you take notes? Can you take again, notes and then refute me afterwards? Okay, I will mute. I will someone. mute. I will mute. Raise your argument. Then after that, I explain. Go on. Yeah, sure. Can you at least admit that when you fight someone, it doesn't define as you killed someone? Because that is what the verse is saying. If you see the word fought. In the next translation, you see the word killed. That means that fought and killed have the exact same definition. If you say that there is no um, definitional difference within the Quranic revelation. Now, what I'm pointing out is there is a difference in the definition between if I fight someone or if I kill someone. Those are two separate definitions of one word. Now, I'm wondering how you marry those two words together so that they have the same definition. Okay. okay. Thank you. Now, we know fighting in a battles is not an easy thing. And people will die. There is a big chance for people to die, to get murdered. And this is the idea. So not just fighting, they didn't weaken when they were fighting and they didn't weaken even when they died. So they went to the death directly. They asked for the death. Why? In the sake of Allah. They asked for the death. They, just, they didn't just fought. No, they didn't just fought. They even died. They even died. And this, even if they died, even after they died, they didn't weaken. The people, they didn't weaken. That's the main thing. And it's about steadfastness, regardless to the calamity, regardless to the hardship, regardless. That's the meaning. And the two recitation actually complete the whole picture to the understanding. Yeah, so my question was, because you stated that there is no definitional difference between the words in the Quran. Now, we know the definition of fought is not the same but definition Chris, of kill. I said it didn't change the they meaning. Were. So I'm waiting for you to, de to give us the, the definition on how you marry these two words together I to amalgamate the, def the, the definition into one definition. I just told you in my argument, I said it didn't change the meaning where James said it did change the meaning 
Now, my question to you, how it changed the meaning? Sure, it, it because I already meaning, because if you fight someone it doesn't necessarily mean you killed somebody. Okay, now I joined this room because was here John Lee and because Heidi was here, but I don't agree to speak to this person below me who hate what do. And to be honest with you, Chris, I don't engage with you, but sincerely, in your platform, you're more. Why don't you you're, engage with me, and ask? I engage with you. In your platform, you well, have why don't more. Why do you engage with me? Is it because your Muslim no, brothers no, no. have negative lies about me? No, no, no. Telling no, other no. Muslims no, not to no, do no, 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 no. I did not say that. Let me finish. Okay, then give me the reason in your why platforms, you in your platforms, you have more good manners. And you have more control over yourself. But when you are in, in our rooms, you're always shouting. Prophet, yes. Certain names that you may not like, which I'm not here. It, what? I said on my platform in the Christian table talk and in Christian rooms, I will address your prophet the way that I normally do. And I'm it, not going to say it in here, but I don't use his name very nicely in our rooms. In your rooms. But if I'm, if I'm prison then you have to stick to my my uh, my rules if oh, you're no. not gonna stick to it i'm leaving i don't care about you to be honest i don't care winning an argument i'm not here to win an argument well, I know. And, and i don't care about you going on about this but i'm still waiting for you to tell us the definition of fought is identical to the definition of kill because uh, you not said his claim. That the you Again. said that the variants in the Quran were not that was anything not his to do claim. With the he said the meaning, not, not the definition. Wait, 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 Can you move that's, on? That's, Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, I'm gonna say thank you, Kat, because office. no, wait, James. Pause, with pause, all pause, my respect, pause, your claim, hey, James, James, your, your claim, claim that was said, or are you just jumping in here? Pause, pause, pause. Look, look. I heard everything that was said, and look, you're boring I, me now. Oh, are you still upset from the last room, Kat? What? Okay. Hold on, I, I had to move over to the audience. Look, I said that those two could talk one on one. I'm not jumping in. I don't expect any of the other panel to jump before, in until they're done. Before we Please. engage, James, <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question. Was your claim? Was your claim that these variants recitation changing the meaning or not? That was my claim, but I want to. I want you to be able to talk to Chris one on. And what what was my claim? What was my claim? I, I want you to be able to address Chris one on one. So I will address Chris. I will engage with Chris. But what was my claim? Was my claim that these words doesn't have the same meaning, or my claim was th these recitation did not change the meaning of the verse? You said they didn't change the meaning of the verse. Thank and you. Still changes the now meaning. Now I want you. I want you to tell me how these different recitation. Different words, killing or fought, change the meaning of the verse. So please go if ahead. If you fight someone, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to take their life. If you kill someone, it does necessarily mean that you're going to take their life. So therefore, the meaning of those two words are actually different. Yes, the words are different. I agree with you. But the meaning of the verse isn't different. So why do you, why do you change the meaning of it? The word you mean? The word why it's changed? No, you changed the you changed the meaning of the word fought, right? Yeah, you, you're talking about the word right now. Why there is a variance recitation, right? Why the meaning is changed? What is the wisdom behind these two words well, have just, different meanings? Not even right? just that, because you believe in the mother of the book that's in heaven with a law. So my ultimate question would be, which one of these verses? where it says that they fought or they killed with Muhammad, which one is in the mother of the book or okay. are they both? First of all, both of them are correct. Second of all, again, I said <laughs> these two words, I, if you have anything to say, I will mute. You can speak and after that I come in, go ahead. No, you just succeeded or you just uh, agreed that they have different meanings. The words, the words, yes. I agreed with you since the beginning. Like, I don't know what you're saying, what you're now, talking about. Well, now you These two words have different meanings. The different and the idea, mm, right? Uh, bro, come on, man. Every time I try to speak, you speak. I will mute, go speak, finish what you want to say. You just admitted that the two words have different meanings. And earlier you said that the recitations don't have different meanings. So you're contradicting yourself. <laughs> I said, again, there are different citations, 
There are different pronunciation for the words. There are different words it's been used. But these differences in the words or in the recitation or in the pronunciation, it will never, never change the meaning of the verse. In fact, the wisdom behind it, that it is, it add to the meaning of the verse and it draw an, a, a bigger picture, a bigger picture to make a bigger understanding and wider understanding for the verse. For example, this verse, what we just quote right now, what, uh, that fought or killed. And the idea of that is to show how God love those who stood fast even in the battle of field when you face the enemy and you know there is a big chance that you may get murdered that's the but, idea may I i'm not engaging quick? with you what do i'm not engaging with you so don't bother don't bother christian i go back and forth a little bit longer and well, the only thing I, here is, James, I'm is I have uh, Jay's up here, and this is his forte. Two, please, hang on. Jay, do you have uh, references from Al Tabari, maybe? Yeah, I do. Uh, is that okay if I jump in, James? Uh, I'm not engaging in him. I'm not engaging. I'm not engaging. I'm not engaging. I have Chris. I have Chris. I, I jumped on to engage with James. Then James passed it to Chris. So I'm engaging only Chris. I'm not going to engage you. Uh, what a Adam, not even Adam, especially. So, Good guys, guys, I don't want to I'm talking to Jim, Jim, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to Chris. The what? way he translated the second verse in Arabic, he translated John, it wrong. John, the first verse uh, is, John, I have too much respect for you, man. What, what do, hang on, guys. I, I'm leaving. What do, please hang on. Look, please hang on. Let's. I want to let those two go. And then I, I um, Jai has some good references that he can add like a bow to this. Then I want uh, Jai to add those, and then we can maybe go popcorn style. James, I'm, I'm okay with that, but the no, thing no, is that please, John, do not mod me, John. Please, please, I have well, too much respect for you, man. No, I'm leaving. Go. I'm leaving. Yeah, no, 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 I'm leaving. If there is only no, one person want to engage with me, I'm I'm glad to engage. Right. If there is only one person want to engage with me, I'm glad to engage under respectful discussion. But rather than that, I'm not going to speak to any Islamophobe. I'm not going to speak to those who insult my prophet or insult my religion symbols, period. When, when I open room about Christian, I, I try to be fair as much as possible. Try to let the people speak as much as possible. And it's difficult, uh -huh. I know, but I cannot, I cannot handle this. If 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 what do and and Adam want to speak to me, I'm not gonna engage with okay, you. He's gonna do what you want. I was so. talking to James. Right. I was talking to James and to Chris. I wasn't talking to you. My my the direction of conversation was to James and Chris and everybody else, not to you. John, you translate the second verse wrong. The second verse is Ladina Qatilu, which translate Ladina Qatilu, which translate to those who were killed. Not those who fought. The first verse was those who fought. Yes, Ladina Qatilu. The second verse, Ladina Qutilu, those who were killed. You translated both of them into English in the same exact language, which makes you wrong translation. With your wrong translations, you're trying to give wrong interpretation. Okay, thank you. Vikal, it was nice talking to you, man. I appreciate your honesty. James? Why don't you stick around? Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I will be glad, but we this guy coming and telling telling us something we were talking about it already. We we address this what to do, but anyway, Vickel, nice talking to you, man. I appreciate and your state, honesty. No, sorry, Adam. I, I'll just me. I'll just engage. Uh, and also, course. I would I would like to send my thank to Cat also because I love sincere people, even if they were against themselves. Anyway, thank you guys for having me here on the panel. Jay, if you want to have a discussion with me, you can. You are mostly welcome to my okay, rooms. Okay, let's do it now. Let's thank do you, it man. now then. No one's going to interrupt us. Just us right now. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you're saying that this verse, the two meanings, although you agree that they differ in terms of when you compare them to each other, but the verse in itself doesn't change the meaning of the verse at all. That's what you're saying, yes. right? Okay, now... You're also saying that both of these are correct. Is that right? Yes. And they both add meaning to each yes. other. Okay. Where did you get the idea that they're both correct? When you read it. When you read it. 
Have you read the verse yourself, Jay? Yeah, I read the verse myself. Completely. I'm asking you, how did you get the idea that, I, I assume when you say that they're correct, you're saying that they're both Allah's words, that Muhammad said them both ways. Where yes. did you get that idea from? From the hadith. Wh which hadith? Regarding the recitation, you mean the variance in the recitation, or regarding this verse in particular? Well, we're talking about this verse in particular. If you think that there's a hadith relating to it, then please do let me know. Not to this hadith in particular. Okay, so where did you get the idea that Muhammad said it both ways? I tell you from the hadith. Okay, which hadith says that Muhammad said it I will give, bring both you the ways? hadith. Well, there is a hadith. Uh, uh, I have to look for the reference to bring it up. But the hadith says that Umar ibn al-Khattab, the second Khalifa, heard a man reciting the Quran in a different way from what he heard from the Prophet. Then he took the man and uh, he asked the man, How, what are you re reciting? He said, I'm reciting the Quran. He said, no, this is not the Quran. And he took him and he went to the Prophet والسلام, and he told him, listen how this man is reciting the Quran. He said, read to me. He read to him, recite to him. And he asked Umar, okay, both are correct. He told him, both are correct. So this regarding the recitation, regarding this verse in particular, when you read the context of the verse without I mean, when I say context, I'm not referring to f five uh, previous uh, uh, verses. I'm talking about the context in the verse itself. It says, and how many a prophet fought and with him fought many religious scholars, right? But they never lost assurance due to what afflicted them in the cause of Allah, nor did they, uh, did they weaken or submit to the enemy meaning submit or weaken to the enemy and Allah loves the steadfast and then if you just change the word fought with killed and how many a prophet fought and with him killed many religious scholars but they never lost assurance due to what afflicted them in cause of Allah nor did they weaken or submit and Allah loves the steadfast so Regardless, okay. what's the worst thing gonna happen in a battlefield is to get die. Even they, even though they're gonna get die, they never weaken. That's the idea, and they stayed fast. Okay, hopefully I can talk without getting interrupted, because I let you go without interrupting you. So the thing that you mentioned, the hadith, is about the seven ahruf. When you mention the hadith of Omar and Hisham. When he heard him resetting Surah Al Furqan in a different way, he was reading it in a different way. He brought him to Muhammad very violently, by the way. You forgot to add that part. He very violently grabbed him and he, almost like he was going to beat him up or kill him or something. And then he brought him to Muhammad and Muhammad asked them both to recite the verse, the, the chapter. They both did. And then Muhammad said that he received it both ways, that they're both, they're both how he received it. And that the Quran was revealed in seven ahruf. Okay, Muslim scholars until today are confused as to what Ahruf means. There's no consensus on what it means. In fact, there's upwards of 40 opinions, 40 opinions on what Ahruf means. What they do agree on, what they do agree on is that Ahruf are not the Qira'at. So when we're discussing the difference that we're discussing right now in chapter 3 verse 146, that is a difference in reading Qira'at, that's not a difference in Ahruf. So the Hadith is nothing to do with this. That's the first mistake. The second thing, if you go to early Muslim commentators, like at tabari for example, who were living in the 10th century, when he comments on this verse, he doesn't say what you said. He doesn't say, oh, Muhammad received it like this and Muhammad received it like that. He doesn't say that they're both from Allah. What, did he, what he says is that there were some Muslims who took one reading, the Qatila reading, and other ones who took Qutila, and those ones who were the two different groups rejected the other reading. The ones who said that's oh, the reading. Oh, wait, 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 please don't interrupt. I'm not going to interrupt, just you when just you did. say, when you make claims, substantiate these claims, okay. please. Go to chapter 3, verse 146, open up Tabri, mm -hmm. and you can read it for yourself as I explain it. So what he says is that the group who took the reading fought qatila they were saying that those who took the reading qatila meaning killed were doing something that makes no sense at all because when you read the verse 
the translation you were reading said that they didn't lose assurance, that they weren't weakened. So those people said, well, if they were killed, how does it make sense to say that they didn't lose assurance? What do you mean you didn't lose assurance if you were killed? What do you mean you weren't weakened if you were killed? So these early Muslims... You haven't are, turned are, back. On, That's what it on. means. You haven't no, no, no. turned back. We're, talk, we're, talking, we're talking about the Muslims in the 10th century. We're not talking about Muslims today, Muslims like you. We're talking about Muslims who are closer to the tradition and not the Muslims who were later codified. So what is your point to here? Say, my point is this, that the early Muslims did mm. not see these differences the way you see them. At-Tabari himself rejected the reading Qatala. He let's see the Tabari. Reading. Let's see the Tabari then. Wait, okay. let's see the Tabari. Go open it up. Um, it's in front of me right now. Qawlu ta'ala wa kayna min nabiyin qatal ma'a rabbiyuna kathir fa ma wahanu li ma asabahum fi sabi lillahi wa ma da'afu wa ma sakan wa Allah yuhibbu sabirin wa kayna min nabiyin qatal ma'a rabbiyuna qala al-zahri sah al-shaytana yawma uhud qatila muhammad fa nhazam jama'a Okay, where, where exactly? Can you like give me because it's a long, 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 long page. Yeah, where it says Qala Abu Jafar Go uh, that that part down there. Uh, let me open up the link. I'm just remembering. I'm just going off my head right now. Just let me pull it up, and we can read it together. But it says exactly what I was saying. So if you want to challenge my translation, you can do that. We'll talk about it. But no, I want to see. I want to see the quote from the Tabari itself. Okay. Himself. So okay. So on the on the page right now, there's the first paragraph, the second paragraph, third paragraph, fourth paragraph. Um. Qala al nahas begin the paragraph. Uh, let's see. It says, it starts, it's there, there's three dots above it. And it says, it says, uh, actually, where do we want to start? Let me see. Yeah, Abu Jafar. Yeah, go start with Abu Jafar. Qala Abu Jafar. I'm trying to find it, I'm sorry. That's no problem. So, you have chapter 3, verse 146. You see the first line, right? Okay, one second. Because I'm reading from my, my app, so I don't have the physical book. Okay, okay now I'm going to read from here because this is the contention here. Okay. Al-Mu'minun wal-Amr bil-Iqtida' biman taqaddam. So, uh, قال النحاس ووقف أبو عمرو وكأي بغير النون لأنه تنوين وروى ذلك سورة ابن المبارك عن الكسائي ووقف الباقون بالنون اتباعا لخط المصحف ومعنى الآية تشجيع So here is saying النحاس that the ayah is to encourage the believers الأمر بالاقتداء and to take them as an, uh, as an uh, role model بمن تقدم من خيار أتباع الأنبياء to take those who follow the believers yeah one second this is the top al qurtubi oh i'm reading the qurtubi i'm yeah, sorry yeah. no problem qala abu jafar ikhtilafat al qira'a ikhtilafat al qira'a fi qira'a dhalika fa qara'a ba'dhum wa ka'ayna bi hamz al alif wa tajdid al ya wa qira'a wa qara'ahu akharun bil alif wa takhfif al ya wa ka'ayn wa huma qira'atan mashhuratan fi qira'a al muslimin wa lughatan ma'rufatan la ikhtilaf fi ma'nahuma فبأي القراءتان قرأ ذلك قارئ فمصيب للاتفاق معنى ذلك وشهرتها في كلام العرب ومعناه وكم من نبي القول في تأويله قاتل معه ربيون قال أبو جعفر اختلفت القراءة في قراءة قوله قتل معه ربيون فقرأ ذلك جماعة من قراءة الحجاز والبصرة قتل سو so الحجاز أم بصرة they read قتل وقرأوا جماعة آخر بفتح القاف والألف وهي قراءة جماعة من قراءة الحجاز والكوفة قال أبو جعفر فأما من قرأ قاتلة فإنه اختار ذلك okay, لأنه قال Okay, hold on, translate, 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 you're going too fast, hold on, so translate what you're saying so everyone can understand okay. So what does, what does Abu Jafar say here? Abu Jafar saying, mm -hmm. okay, because Abu Jafar said here mm -hmm. uh, Those who said, who said, uh, murdered or killed فإنه اختار no, 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 no. قاتلة قاتل فوت سوري هو ايفر سيد فوت فانه اختار ذلك هي تشوز ذس بيكوز لو قتلوا هولد اون سكند اون سكند هي تشوز ذس اوكي ذاتس فيري امبورتنت تو سي ذات هي تشوز ات مينينج ات از تشويس اتس نوت ذات ذس از الله ورد اند ايه اوكي ويت ويت 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just stay on. And then re keep reading. Yeah, keep reading. Um, keep reading. So let's read, and after that we come to the conclusion, right? Fainauhtar. He chose this because if they murdered, yeah, he would not say, "Fama wahanu." They were never weakened. Yeah. Because it's impossible yeah. uh, that they were described as weakened and okay, they never here, weakened after they've been killed. Okay, stop here. So that, that's the first group that I was saying before. The mm -hmm. first group that chooses the reading, قاتله, they say that if you take the reading, قتله, that it's impossible and it doesn't make any sense because of the following reasons. Like you said, like you translated correctly, they wouldn't lose heart or they wouldn't lose hope. But he didn't say it didn't make sense. He yeah, said, yes, it does. let That's me it translate says. again. It let, let's quote it accurately. Okay. He said, Abu Jafar said, mm -hmm. those who said fought, uh -huh. he cho they chose this because they said, if what, they, what does yastahil mean? Wait, because they <laughs> said, I, I, I'm, I'm translate, I'm translating because okay. they said if they fought, if they de if they killed, if they were killed, uh -huh. uh, they cannot. Uh, he will not say they didn't weaken. Okay, that's okay. known because it's impossible for them to be impossible. described. To be described, they never weakened, and they never uh, whatever it is the word. Okay, so, so after let's they be clear. after they killed after they been killed. Okay, and so let's then, be clear. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. So let's be clear. They're but the code the is not done. The, the code is chose, not done. Yes, the that, code this part, is not this done. Part is done. No, this part is done. So this group, this group who takes the reading fought, are saying that the other reading is impossible. That's what right. they're saying. Right. Okay, and they're and then, not saying these are both from Allah. Muhammad said them both ways. No, wait. Because no. this... No, no, no don't you, say no. Wait, let's agree. Is that accurate? No, let... No, don't listen. say no. Don't say no. Is that accurate? What are you talking saying? about, man? Just hold on. Let me finish the quote. No, the, the quote is finished. We're done with this paragraph. No, no not, not yet. Not first. yet. The, the quote is not finished. In fact, the quote goes on because the second one is still talking about Abu Jafar when he okay. said, but those, okay. but those who said murder... Murder. We're talking about the other group now. We're talking about the first yes, group. Yes, and we let's, have let's to see because group. you said he said it's impossible. Yeah, no. They, okay, hold on, hold on. The first group is saying that the other reading is impossible. Then he talks about the second Can group. Can I takes finish the, other the reading. quote, please? One, sec one second. Let's respect. agree on what the first paragraph says. Does the, the first paragraph say that the people who take the reading, qatala, say that the reading, qatala, is impossible? Do they okay. say that, yes or no? Okay, one second. Now you want you want to play smart, right? So let's play smart. I want you to go to the to the recitation where it says "qutila" or okay. "qatala." Okay. And put it in your BTR, and I will put the other word in my BTR. So please go put it in your BTR right now. No, 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 no. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right no, now. Put it in your I will answer your question. I will answer your question. I will answer okay. your question, and I will continue reading the paragraph. But first, I want you to put the verse and the word right in your BTR right now, and I will put the other recitation in my BTR. So let's see. I will put I mean, Hafsan my gonna, BTR. I don't know what this is going to prove. What is this going to We prove will see. We pictures? will see in a second. We will see in a second. I we will don't need put... to put in our pictures. We're looking at what Atabri says. Atabri is saying that the first group says the other reading is impossible. So that goes against your position. Your position says, oh, they're both from Allah. Muhammad said on both ways. No, he did. that's not what these Muslims say, the early Muslims say. They said this reading is impossible and they're using their logic skills, their reasoning for why. They're not saying this is the correct reading because this is how Muhammad said it. They're saying this is the correct reading because the other one doesn't make any sense. Because the other one's impossible. That's what they're saying. Okay, you're done? Yeah. Okay, I want you to put the word in your PTR. And put I'm not going to change my picture for you. And, and put a can, circle I'm not on gonna it. Read my, I'm not going to change my picture for you. I'll just focus on the topic. Does the paragraph say that yes or no? If you don't want to change it, that means you don't want to engage in a fruitful discussion. You're the one that doesn't want to engage by now, answering the question. I'm, I'm, no, I'm addressing every point. In fact, this is, the, this is the word in my BTR right now, okay? And I put it in a red circle. Now, I want you 
to be man enough and put the so word. How about you that's be man enough to answer what the I, I will, sentence. I will, I will. Why, why now, do you read it, but you don't answer, you don't tell the people in English what it means and what it says? I said I translated letter letter for letter. I translated no. letter for well, letter, no, but I, you did I, not I allow to, me. No, 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 even you keep cutting. Okay, it wasn't you keep cutting me off. You you what? It wasn't letter for letter. Go ahead and translate it. You translate it. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Abu Jafar said that the one who reads qatila, meaning fought, has chosen to do so because, because he says, if it said qatila, if it said they were killed, then his statement, they did not lose heart, would not be reasonable because it is impossible for them to be described as not losing heart and not being weakened after having been killed. Okay, that's, that's, that's the accurate translation. Now, okay, you're when done. It comes, no, yes. Now, when it comes, now let's understand. Let's break it down. Now, let's understand what they're saying. They're saying that they chose one reading because it makes more sense than the other reading because the other reading is impossible. Earlier, did he say he that? Said, did he say that? Did he yes, say that? Yes. Impossible. Did he say that? Al Tabari. Yes. Did he say that? Oh, we'll get we'll get to Al Tabari's opinion. No, 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 no. Now you're inserting. No, no, you're inserting your your conclusion as the Tabari, as you quote in the Tabari. Now I'm asking you, is the Tabari? Wait till we get to Al Tabari. Wait till we get to Al Tabari. He's gonna he's gonna embarrass you. Al Tabari will embarrass you. Man, because he doesn't take the position you take. You shouldn't be so arrogant to jump in these debates when you have no idea what you're talking about. First, do study, do research, and then get into these discussions. Man, stop like, why, why do you mute me? Please. Why are you afraid? Why are you muting me? I muted you because you're not engaging. I'm not engaging? You're the one you're not, not the engaging. Question. You're not you're engaging. You're not engaging. Now, I ask you a simple question. Did the Tabari said? Did the Tabari said? This is illogical or this impossible? Yes, impossible. Or I, yes. The, no, no he's, he, he's saying that Where? they're saying that it's impossible. They're saying, they're yes. saying, they're saying. Wait till we get saying. to Atabari, though. <laughs> they're Atabari saying, takes a stronger right, position than this. Oh, he left? Okay. Okay, I sent him down to the audience. He can come back up, but here's the thing. I, I don't want you to mute your opponent that you're debating. Like, Jai has been respectful. You guys have been having back and forth. I'll bring you back up. I don't plan on muting anybody, but you have to have a one-on-one -on -one fair conversation with Jai. That's I appreciate that, James. Uh, it looks like he looks like he left. He he did. Yeah, I respect that, James, for uh, him being a moderator in this chat. As soon as he did something that was wrong to a Christian in the room, you immediately jumped in and dropped him down without anybody saying in anything into the room. So I, I do thank you for uh, what you're doing in the room and the moderation. Yeah, John Lee left me in a bad position when he made him mod. Like, uh, why would you make him mod? And he's the primary person in the discussion. And I, I need to talk to John Lee about who he makes mod anyway. That was just not a good situation. But John, yeah. So, so Jay, can you give us a? Yes. Can you can you summarize what was just talked about and why it is so important on what Anas just actually agreed to? Thank you. Yeah, sure. So, so when I came in the room, I heard him saying that both of these readings were correct. And what he meant by correct is that they both came from Muhammad. They're both coming from Allah, supposedly. So they're both divine. They're both, they're both inspired readings. That's what he was saying. And I asked him how he knew that. How, did he, how does he know that they're both inspired readings? And he said, well, based on a hadith. And the hadith that he re referenced is a very popular hadith, a famous hadith in these discussions about the seven ahruf. You might hear it translated as seven modes. The reason why you just hear it in Arabic is because there's not a direct one-to-one -one translation. I mean, a, a hyper-literal translation of ahruf. It's the plural of the, of the word harf, which means letter. So that's like a hyper-literal translation. But everyone agrees it doesn't mean letters in this context. But because it doesn't have like a solid one-for-one -one translation in English and why people just keep it in Arabic most of the time is because no one understands what it means. So there's over 40 opinions for what that hadith means. But one of the things that the Muslim scholars do agree on is that those seven ahruf or modes, you could say, do not correspond to the various readings of the Quran that we have today. So the various readings of the Quran that we have today, the various versions of the Quran that we have today in Arabic, this is one example, 
where one Quran says, or some versions of the Quran say, fought, and some versions of the Quran say, killed. So, Muslim scholars do agree on that, that the Ahruf are not those readings. So, that was the first important point. So, he doesn't actually have a basis for saying that these are both inspired or both divine. Then, when I went to al for those of you who don't know, he's like the commentator of all commentators for the Sunni Muslims. He's uh, very authoritative and he's a very he's 10th century so an early authoritative Sunni commentator scholar and he specialized in many fields one of the fields he specialized in was this field of um, Qur'at and he had a book on the different readings it's been lost to us in history but we know that it existed at some point so we do have his had his his uh, his commentary though and we know what he says about various readings based on his commentary. Now, in this commentary, for this particular verse, what he does is he tells us what certain groups of Muslims say who choose some readings, and, and notice that they actually use the word choose. So, if the equivalent for a Christian would be like, you know, we're not talking about textual variants, we're talking about uh, something that we believe to be inspired. Like this, is, we're not talking about. Uh, it could, it could be, you know, Mark one forty one. It could be, you know, Jesus was merciful, had compassion, or it could be that he was angry. Like we're not talking about that. What we're talking about are two, two texts that we would say are both divinely inspired, and the language we would use to describe those two texts would not be, I chose this reading over that reading, or this reading is impossible in light of that reading. No, you don't say that about something that is divinely inspired, something that you believe is inerrant and infallible. So this tells us immediately that the early Muslims did not have this view that all of these readings were viewed the way Muslims view them today. They would choose certain readings and they would have some sort of corpus for, you know, different Muslim communities in different regions would take different readings and they would take different canons of the Quran, you could say. And in this particular verse, there he, you know, Al-Tabari gives us the, the synopsis of basically one of the groups who say, look, if you take this reading fought, then the other reading is impossible because the rest of the verse doesn't make any sense because it mentions things like they didn't lose heart and they weren't weakened. So they're, they're reasoning amongst themselves and they're saying, well, if you were killed, then how could you say you didn't lose heart? Because, you, you know, you're dead. You can't say, someone who's dead can't say, I didn't lose heart. Someone who's dead can't say that they weren't weakened. Well, obviously, if you're dead, you were weakened. You did lose heart in the battle. You lost the battle. So they were saying it's impossible. They actually used the word impossible. And he translated it impossible too. I'm really glad that he was accurate with that at least. He did translate it as impossible. And so the other group, which we didn't get to because we didn't get to conclude on this first part, but the other group gives reasoning for why they accept the reading as killed. And then al Tabri gives his conclusion where he chooses the reading of killed over the reading of fought. He says that it's the, let me get the exact wording. He says it's it's the most worthy of the two readings, the, the most correct reading. Again, if I pull up John 1.1 1, 1, and then Mark 1.1, 1, 1, and again, we're not talking about textual variants, and I say John 1.1 1, 1 is more correct than Mark 1.1. 1, 1. It's uh, more superior. That wouldn't make any sense because I, as a Christian, believe that they're both divinely inspired from God. So the fact that Atabari even pins them against each other and says this one is more authoritative, this one is more correct, and notice that they're giving reasons for why. It's not just, oh, Muhammad said it, therefore, okay, that's the word of God. That would be enough, right? No, but what they're doing is they're giving reasons, they're giving a list of reasons and arguments for both ways. So... I was just trying to show him that the view he was taking today is not the view that early Muslims took and uh, that he doesn't actually have a basis for saying things that he's saying. And, uh, you know, I, I, did, I did say to him that, well, anyway, I don't have to get into that now, but uh, maybe, yeah, so that, that's pretty much a summary. Yeah, thank you very much for the summary on that, Jake. Go ahead, James. Nothing. That was, that was a good discussion. He... He did admit the one thing, I think, when he was talking to you, Chris, was that um, he conceded that the words have different meaning, but that he believes that the Quran is this compilation of all the recitations, 
and that each recitation highlights the one Quran. So in a way he's saying that um, every different recitation is the complete Quran. So then if he's just reading the Hafs, he's not getting the full meaning. He's not reading the full Quran. And then Chris or Jai, if you guys have anything you want to add, I want to end the room in a few minutes and save this replay. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, I'm good on my end. I appreciate you guys having me on stage and uh, engaging. Yeah, and the only thing I'd like to say at the end here is I just want to thank James for being a fair moderator, and it was a very fruitful discussion. I go hard in the paint, yeah, homie, I'm a saint. Ride or die. Many claim they lie, 